Hey guys, what's up? I am on this little voiceover thing just to let you guys know that this was intended to be a more raw type of video. Of course, there are some edits, but I don't really put music or anything like that. And um, it just this just ended up being way too long if I did a raw. So I did shorten some sets up, but it is more raw as in like you can hear the background music and things like that. But I do play a song over some parts of it because some clips go too long that will violate the copyright restriction rules that YouTube has. So yeah, that is pretty much all I'm going to say for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. At first I do deadlift and I know that my form, I'm still trying to fix it and keep my butt down. It's just really hard to to remember to keep my butt down. Like I feel like I'm focusing too much on keeping my butt down. I can't get the weight up and of course if you guys go back to like my not the last deadlift video but the one before that where I was yanking it up I feel like my deadlifts have improved so much so I am proud of that of course I am always improving I am not the deadlift perfecter here and I think all of us improve every day and we should improve every day so anyway I'm always getting on track. Um, I'm about to fall asleep and I've recorded this for a million times. So that's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And sit back, relax, because I don't know how long this video is going to be. I have done three sets. I need two more sets. Sad one. I'm sad one. I'm one sad fuck. This sucks. I should have been able to get that. Poor vibe. I'll get it next time. <laughs> He's laughing at me for talking to myself on the camera. If if my own boyfriend laughs at me for talking to YouTube, how do you expect we're still the community in here? Too, right? I'm here, community. This is the hardest person. I mean, the hardest working person at our gym. She's like, she's like, look, I only spit fat out here. All right, <laughs> keep your spit in me. Nobody wants to see us. Anyway, this sucks. Damn it. Should I try to make this 225 or 5? Hey, I am Two more, come on.
I told you guys I am trying to lose another three, four pounds, so not really a lot. I just do the Stairmaster for 10-15 minutes each week. Nothing extreme, but still getting my heart rate up and sweating those extra little calories. After the Stairmaster, I went and I did some cable curls to finish it off since leave it to me to forget to do arms. And then every five, six reps, I increase the weight. And let me tell you, this burns so good. Thank you guys for watching. Any thoughts of this workout today? I'm dead. I'm disappointed in my damn deadlifts, but the Sea Master feels really good afterwards. I mean, like, you hate it while you're doing it, but afterwards, you're just like so happy because you're proud of yourself. You did it. You did it, and you did it. Alright. Back to my messy bed. So, I wanted to read to you guys this. One quote, not quote, but Katie Hearn um, posted this a long time ago and I got it off the KH Fit Fam Instagram. But I mean, Katie wrote it it's from her Twitter a long time ago. She said, I hate when people ask me how to stay motivated, stay on track. You just do it. Either you want to change or you don't. Nothing I, anyone else could say to you will motivate you to the point of wanting to change and stay consistent constant that's got to come from within also the people you see who are fit or who are goals it's no easier for them they most likely love cookies and do not love cardio so um i think this quote i found a long long time ago but i mean someone just reposted it a while back but i read this two years ago whenever i first started going to the gym and it's so true like there's seriously nothing that anyone can say to you that will actually make you, like, that will that will make you just want to go. Like, you literally just have to say, like, do I want this or do I not? I have always said, you know, if you don't start going to the gym right now, if you waste this week, if you waste this month, if you waste, waste these next three months, a year from now you're going to be like, dang, I should have started that three months before, that two months before, that month before, that week of. I should have started that week of because the longer that you hold off on it, the longer it's going to take for you to receive those gains. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. But it's so true. Like, just start right now and a year from now you'll be so happy you did or you're just going to be waiting even longer and longer for you to receive your gains. And honestly, you guys, I died on the Stairmaster and it's so true. Like, you know, the people who look amazing, who are goals, who I think are goals. Everyone that we think is goals, like, the Stairmaster also burns them. The Stairmaster also makes them sweat. So just keep that in mind that, you know, they don't just wake up looking good. Well, some people they do, but anyway, you got what I'm trying to say. What, how I f do the Stairmaster for it to be easy, I literally just break it up. So if I'm going to do 10 minutes, I say I just have to do five minutes just five minutes I do for those five minutes and then I'm like I have to do those I have to do five more minutes five more minutes and even though it's all ten minutes I just say it so my head I trick my brain it's what I do essentially <laughs> and it actually works just break it up like that and you'll do it and if you're doing cardio right now keep pushing you're almost done keep pushing you're almost done I know that it burns I know that it hurts just don't look at the time just sing along to your music forget that there's even a time it's almost over Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 4,000. I really appreciate it. Thank you.